spoke with Masahiro on the field. He said he felt like he wasn't very good tonight and he was just getting lucky at times. Would you agree with that assessment, Eric? <laughs> no. Um, I do think he got away with some pitches. Um, but <clears throat> I, I thought the, the combination was... I felt like the best I saw from him as far as fastball, slider, split, all of them playing a, a, a factor in tonight's game. And um, and then to be able to, towards the end there, you know, when we we're kind of going hitter by hitter to a degree, for him to continue to get outs and, and do it in a really efficient manner um, was, was huge. And for him to close it out like that, you could tell he, he could smell the finish line too. And uh, big time performance to to kick off this series for us. Any doubts on your mind in your mind, sending him back out there for the ninth inning? No, as long as he was good to go, you know we we're going to go hitter to hitter. Um, you know with Meadows there, so um, <clears throat> you know if if he would have. Uh, you know, obviously starting out with Zanino there to start out the ninth inning. Felt like he was still throwing the ball really well. Felt like he was strong. If anyone had gotten on, we would have gone right to Chappie. But, um, no, I felt good about him as long as he, you know, kind of gave us the look we were looking for. We had talked to you a lot last week about some of the struggles of the starting rotation to have him start this homestand against the Rays who are battling with you guys and then obviously the Astros come into town. What does it do to just set the tone for the pitching staff? <clears throat> yeah, it was big. Um, you know, Pax threw the ball well obviously yesterday and, and for Massa to, to come out here and kick off this homestand against a really good team over there and uh, a lot of guys in that lineup that can hurt you. Um, it, it was huge and and you know you need you need performances like that sprinkled out th sprinkled throughout the year just to um, preserve guys and 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 it becomes a big reset day when you can have that kind of performance either one on in the middle Aaron, um how hard of a decision is it going to be with maven once you guys get healthy uh, i mean we're not at that point yet so you know uh, what has he meant just to your team and what you uh, know he's been a really good player and another guy that's come in here and fit in gelled impacted the room and then his performance speaks for itself between the lines what he's brought um the flexibility to play anywhere in the outfield the speed he brings to the to the base pass the energy he play, plays the game with and 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 uh, brings to the dugout on a nightly basis. Uh, we've seen the power come into play the last few days. Um, man, he's he's been really good for us. Really good. Back right. Given so, given how rare complete games are, is there any point earlier in the game where you might think a guy has what it takes to go the distance, or are you just going batter by batter by batter? Um, <clears throat> I don't know if necessarily batter by batter all the time you know once we got um you know to 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 that eighth inning and we had Brit up if if we would have got into any trouble especially with the amount of lefties coming in we we probably would have gone to to zach in that spot and then the same thing in the ninth with chappy um in the seventh we we're you know kind of getting Otto and and canely ready for potentially one out a piece or something if if he got into any significant trouble but i think it just kind of evolved it evolves as the game unfolds Coley to the right of course it was an 0 for 4 night but uh, what'd you think of the at bats and, and everything from Edwin yeah really good um, you know first at bat was I don't know if it was 10 pitches or whatever but um, I mean you see and Chirino's it's a pretty tough customer, especially on right-handed hitters, and I thought his at-bats against him all night were really good. You know, and just missed a couple in his first at-bat when, when it f finally got him on a strikeout, lines out to short. Um, he's a really good hitter, um, more than just obviously a great power hitter, and um, he, th th this guy's a, a pro in the box and knows what he's doing, and um, so it was good to s get him in there and, and go. And I, I thought, all right, bats the first go around through the through the order when they held us down and we we didn't score. I think in the first few innings, I I, I thought our at bats were really good, um, and he w he was part of that. Anyone else? Thank you, Aaron.